Hi, my name is Gina. Today we are focusing on hamstrings. I have a lot of friends that have tight hamstrings, hamstring issues, pull hamstrings. So today is a practice just focusing on getting those stretch in the hamstrings. And you can do a little bit of this. I'm going to do it in a flow so you can just do the poses later if you want or you can join me in the whole class. Let's get on our mat. We're going to start in our child's pose. So we're just going to start in our child's pose and reaching your arms up as far as you can to the top of the mat. Reach so much so that the elbows come up off the floor. And on the exhale, relax the arms. On your next inhale, come up to your hands and knees. And we're going to tuck the toes in with the down dog. Let's just start pedaling the feet, going back and forth. Stretching out the back of the legs. Get those hamstrings, the calves. And you come up to the tiptoes, the balls of the feet, stretch out those toes, those arches and ankles. And slowly shift into your plank pose. And we're going back to down dog. And still pedal those feet. Tommy's pulled in, fingers spread wide, tailbone sloping up. And once you settle in your down dog, see if you can engage the thighs, lift the kneecaps, pushing out the back of the knees. And then slowly shift into plank pose. Exhale as you lower. Inhale into your cobra or up dog. And exhaling back to your down dog. Taking those deep breaths. You can still pedal the feet. And then we're going to lift just the right leg into the air. Extend it long, reach it back. So you can open up that right hip. Get a stretch on the inner left thigh. Push out the back of that left knee, the one that's on the ground. That leg. See if you can push out the back of that knee. Maybe that heel comes closer to the floor. On the exhale, bring that leg in the air all the way back down. Left switch sides. Slowly lifting up the left leg and then open up the hip. Deep breaths. And see if you can focus on that right leg, the one that's still on the ground. Push out the back of that knee. Keep breathing. And on the exhale, bring it all the way back down. And pedal the feet. And slowly shifting in your plank pose. Exhale as you lower. Inhale, cobra up dog. And exhaling back to your down dog. And looking up at the hands, we're gonna step the right foot all the way up by your right hand. Hold it here, back heel stays lifted. Set up in that high lunge. Your front ankles underneath the knee. When you're ready, hands can come to the thigh, heart center, all the way up and sink in. Stretch out that hip flexor. Deep breaths. And exhale, hands to the mat. We're going to take that back knee down, top of the foot to the floor, low lunge. When you're ready, hands to the thigh, heart center, all the way up. And exhale, hands to the mat. Let's straighten out that front leg. Push the hips back, toes come up. Walk your hands forward instead of backward. Extending long, keep your tummy pulled in, deep breaths. And slowly bend into that front leg. Tuck your back toes, bring the knee up. We're gonna step it back to plank. And exhale into your down dog. Other side, step the left foot up, hold it here, get your balance when you're ready. High lunge, hands to the thigh, heart center, all the way up. Relax the shoulders down the spine, deep breaths. And exhale, hands to the mat. Back right knee comes down, top of foot to the floor when you're ready. Hands to the thigh, heart center, all the way up. And with the exhale, take the hands back to the mat. 
Straightening that front left leg, pushing the hips back. Maybe those toes come up. Walk your hands forward instead of backward, extending long over that front leg. Keep your tummy pulled in, take those deep breaths. And slowly bend into that front leg. Back toes tuck, bring the knee up, and step back to plank. And exhale back to your down dog. And from here, have you walk your hands to the back of the mat. We're going to do a standing forward fold at the back of the mat, wobble the legs. Tummy's pulled in. And let me put a bend in the knees. Put a bend in the knees, a nice generous bend, so much so your stomach is touching your thighs, your chest is touching your thighs. Hands can dangle to the floor. Crown of your head is pointed down towards the floor, and you're only going to straighten your legs as much as you can keep your stomach and chest connected to the thighs. You can even wrap your arms around your legs and help keep them there. Keep your tummy pulled in tight, taking deep breaths. And slowly, if you have the arms wrapped around the legs, let them go. Tummy's pulled in, maybe take the hands to the floor, look down at the floor, you can pedal the feet here. Keep your stomach pulled in tight, supporting the spine. And soften the knees, belly's pulled in. And slowly roll on up. Coming all the way up to the top. Roll the shoulders up and back. Hands to your heart center, deep breath in. Relax the shoulders. Have you stand on your left leg? Bring your right knee straight up in front. You're going to take both hands. See if you can grab underneath that right foot. Tommy's pulled in. I'm going to give you some options and I'm going to keep adding on. So you can stay here. You can also slowly work on straightening that front leg. Tommy's pulled in. Keep that balance. Keep your focal point. If you're feeling comfortable here, start leaning forward a little bit. Keep breathing. And slowly come up if you're leaning forward. Bend the knee and foot to the floor. Hands to your heart center. Deep breath in. Relax the shoulders. Switching sides. Standing on that right leg, bring the left knee straight up. Take both hands. See if you can grab underneath that left foot. Straighten the spine. Stand up tall. And when you're ready, slowly straighten the leg. If you only come to here, that's fine. Hold it there. Keep that tummy pulled in. Get that focal point. Maybe come forward. Taking those deep breaths. Stare at those toes. Maybe that big toe. And then slowly with the inhale, straighten it out if you lean forward. And gently bend that front leg. And letting go of the foot. Here to the floor, hands to your heart center, deep breath in. And exhale, relax. Have you turned to the side to face the long side of the mat? Take a giant step out with that right foot. And arms out wide. Flip the palms up, lean back, little arch in your upper back. And as you exhale, come forward with that long spine. Hands to the floor. Keep your hands underneath your shoulders here for a moment. If you need to, you can bend the knees. Your toes are slightly inward or parallel. And deep breath in as you lengthen the spine. Exhale, let's drop in. Slowly walking your hands back between your feet. Thighs are engaged, kneecaps are lifted. Tummies pulled in. And that nice stretch to the back of the legs, all the way up the calf, into the hamstrings, deep breaths. And slowly inhale as you lengthen, straighten your spine, come up. Bring your hands back out from underneath you. We're going to go over to that right leg. So walk your hands over to your right foot. And you could be in the vicinity of your foot. Maybe you're going to go and hang on to your foot. 
You can pull yourself in, bring your right chest towards your right thigh. Deep breaths. And slowly come back. We're going to go to the center again. And over to the other side. And maybe pull yourself in a little bit. And then back to the center. Tummy's pulled in. You bring the hands to the hips. And slowly inhale all the way up. Exhale, little lean back. Inhale as you straighten. You're going to take a big giant step back to the other end of, end of the mat. Turning towards the top of the mat. And inhale, arms out and up. And exhale, swan dive down. Lead with the chest all the way back into that standing forward fold. Relax the head, relax the neck. We're going to hang out here again. You can pedal the feet. Deep breaths. I like to pedal my feet just because if you have really tight hamstrings, maybe straightening them both at the same time is going to feel really intense. So doing one at a time creates a little less intensity. Still taking deep breaths. And inhale as you lengthen and look forward. We're going to walk all the way out to our plank pose. And exhale as you lower. Inhale into your cover up dog. And all the way back to your down dog. Bringing the knees to the floor. And we're going to move to a seated position. You can cross the feet behind you or bring them to the same side. Whatever you want to get all the way back and extend the legs all the way out. Still focusing on those hamstrings. Toes point up, knees point up. Inhale, arms out and up. And exhale as you come forward with that long spine. Relax the head, relax the neck. Relax the shoulders away from the ears. Deep breaths. And slowly inhale as you roll on up. And we're going to bend just the right leg in. Then open it up out to the side. Sole the foot goes up against that left thigh. Square your chest to your extended leg. Arms reach out and up. And extend long over that left leg. Try to keep the toes pointed up. Relax the shoulders down away from the ears so you're not scrunching up by the ears. Taking those deep breaths. And with the inhale, you're going to slowly come on up. And extending the leg out. Switching sides. Bending that left leg in. And then open up the knee. So the foot goes up against the thigh. Sitting up tall. Inhale, arms out and up. And exhale, extend long over that right leg. Relax the head and the neck. Relax the shoulders. Taking those deep breaths. And with the inhale, you're going to slowly roll on up. Extend both legs out. Toes point up, knees up once again. Inhale, arms out now. Exhale, come forward. Keep your belly pulled in, creating space to come forward. Keep those toes pointed up. And relax. Take those deep breaths. And slowly roll on up with an inhale. We move to the center of the mat, bend the knees, and take the knees out to the side, soles the feet together, pull them in, inhale as you sit up tall, and exhale, drop your chin to the chest, we're going to round down, bringing your head down towards your feet, elbows can be in next to the body, or up to push against the legs, open the hips, 
And inhale as you slowly roll on up. Bring the hands underneath the knees, guide your knees together. We're gonna roll down, slowly coming down. And once you get all the way down, walk the feet in, the feet are underneath you, about hip distance apart. Hands on the floor, under, underneath you or down by the hips. We're gonna slowly pick the feet up, moving into your plow pose. And slowly pull the belly in and take those feet up and over. You can have a bend in the knees. If you need a little bit more support, bring your hands to the hips. Supporting the hips, keep your tummy pulled in. If your feet touch over your head, see if you can maybe point the toes straight in the knees. Maybe the toenails touch the floor. Keep breathing. I'm going to slowly come down. You can have your hands on your hips to help guide your hips down. And gently bend the knees. And take the feet to the floor. Hands are still down by the sides. So we're going to take a little bridge pose here. Inhale as you lift the hips straight up. Squeeze the glutes, engage the hamstrings. And exhale as you slowly lower. And then gently extend the legs out. Reach your arms up overhead, extending long, point your toes. Spread the fingers wide. And exhale as you relax. Bring your hands down by your sides. We're going to pull just your right leg in. Squeeze that right leg in towards your chest. Extend the right leg all the way up. Foot towards the ceiling, holding it here. You have a little bend in the leg. You know, those deep breaths. See if you can flex that foot, push the heel up towards the ceiling. And slowly bend. You're going to take the opposite arm, so left hand on that right knee. Right arm reaches out to the side. Deep breath in as you lengthen your slowly twist. Take that right knee across the body to the left. And gently come back to center. Extend the right leg all the way out. Let's switch sides. Bend that left leg in. And extend it all the way up, pulling it here. Maybe flex the foot, push the heel up towards the ceiling. Keep that tummy pulled in. And then slowly bending that leg. Right hand, opposite hand on the outside of the left knee. Left arm reaches out to the side. We're going to slowly twist, easing into that twist. Take the knee across the body. And then gently come back to the center. And extend the legs all the way out. One more full body stretch. Reach your arms up overhead. Point the toes, spread the fingers wide. And exhale as you relax. Bring your hands up by your sides, take a few deep breaths, and relax into the mat, let the feet flop out to the side. Relax your legs, relax the shoulders. The arms and legs feel heavy. And perhaps bring a little gratitude to your practice today. Being grateful for the ability that you have. Being grateful for the arms and legs, your body, what it allows you to do every single day. And then taking a deep breath in, fill the lungs, and exhale slowly. 
Blow out all the air. And when you're ready, wiggle those fingers and toes. And roll over onto your right side. And push yourself all the way up to a seated position. Coming into a seated position that's comfortable for you. Sitting up tall. Taking a few moments, gather the thoughts. Maybe say a prayer silently to yourself or set your intention for the rest of your day. Bring your hands to your heart center. Take a deep breath in with me. Exhale as you slowly let out that air. Namaste. Thank you for joining me in my hamstring practice today. I hope you enjoyed it and I'll see you next time. Bye now.